Chemistry does not seem to be a problem for the Columbia College men's basketball team as the Cougars returned a slew of players this season. But as ABC 17's Natalie Jones tells us, two of those players have a link that can't be matched. Carson and Colin Parker. They're close in number and in relation. So close. They're brothers. Some's always a, a challenge or a, co a competition. It's always fun to beat up on my brothers. There's really only one thing they don't stand side by side on. Who won the most battles? <laughs> I like to say me, but it's always, it just kind of depends on what it was. I think I usually won most of them. The duo grew up in Montgomery City. Our dad was a high school varsity coach, so we were always young, just growing up in the gym. So it was always like that high school experience, so we'd come up and like, just kind of be like the household name in Montgomery County. Before making the 45 minute trip to Columbia College. It was extremely special getting to see them out there. It kind of hit me whenever they were getting ready to shoot a free throw. The other team was in Carson and Colin were on the bottom blocks for the rebounders for Columbia. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of emotional. It really is. Carson joined the Cougars in 2020 and was honorable mention all conference his freshman year, starting in all 24 games. He's a really good player, but he's also uh, really intelligent and um, a great teammate and uh, brings a lot of intangible things to the court as well. Colin is just getting started in his first season. Probably a little more comfortable on the perimeter. Um, you know, shoots the three really well, uh, but then also can score inside. But their presence in Wildcat country... You went from having both of them on the same team to one to having none. ...is still remembered. <laughs> but not completely over. Um, we just had our jamboree last night in Mexico, and I thought our team fought hard for who we played. But I think we should be decent this year. Clayton Parker is a freshman of Montgomery County. He is like, he's a really solid player. So he would always beat up on him throughout the years. So he was always coming up with like kind of a toughness. I think he'll definitely probably be the best player of all of us just because he had all that experience playing against us. A lot of times people are like, oh, that's family building family up. No, that hurts them to say that. They don't, they don't want to admit that. It kind of warms my heart too because it shows they care about me. As for where he'll end up. He's a really good player, so he might go across town here maybe. That's still to be determined. Yeah, obviously still has a lot of time to decide. But the bond between the 30s. They're super competitive. They'll talk trash in basketball, but they always have each other's backs. That's set in stone. Reporting in Columbia, Natalie Jones, ABC 17 Sports. Although there seems to be some disagreement on who is the tallest brother at the moment, with Clayton already standing at six foot five, his dad says, without a doubt, he'll end up being the tallest brother.